Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode with more Rillabus. I'm just out in the desert, gonna collect some sand from my little quarry thing here. Uh, I was mainly just looking for something to do while I watched some videos. And figured this is something I could do. But I was just noticing that the new sound for breaking the sand. It's very soothing. <laughs> Instead, it was sounded like dirt. Now it's kind of like silk. So yeah, <laughs> that's all I have to share. Anyway, I'm not sure what we're working on this episode. So I will see you shortly. A lot of mobs. <laughs> I was just digging. I heard some noise, a lot of spiders and stuff underneath, and then I found a hole while I was digging. So I decided to come down to maybe quiet them up, and I've just kind of been going deeper and deeper as one does, gets distracted. But yeah, like <laughs> all those creepers. It was like that at the beginning too. I should have recorded as soon as I came down. Tons of creepers, tons of skeletons. Yeah, kill the Enderman. I don't have that many torches though. So I'll probably stop here. Oh yeah, I just thought I'd show some of the action. Alright, just see you in the bits. Alright, I got a couple shovels worth of sand, got that full, my inventory full, and there's a double chest. That's about three quarters of the way full. I guess I should turn off my filter system as well. To prevent it from spewing out bones and, and such. But I'm just going to get rid of these drops and start converting some of that gunpowder into TNT. But yeah, yeah, it wasn't much there. Just a little bit of bones, a little bit of gunpowder. Stuff that probably got in there right when I was shutting down the machine. Alright, I won't bore you with this, but I'll show you what we get at the end. All right. Well, this is what we got. There's plenty more gunpowder, but I've run out of sand. So. But we can turn the mob system back on <laughs> and start filling up those chests again. 
Um, I'm gonna take some of this other stuff with me, maybe some sugar cane. But yeah, I will see you guys shortly. Okay, so with this TNT, let's see what brings our total to. Oops. Is that almost 45 stacks? I think. Sure. <laughs> I think so. And, oh, I didn't even know we had gunpowder there. And do we have sand? Oops. Oh, we got a little bit. I'll save this stuff for glass and stuff. But yeah, I'll have to get some more shovels and go harvest some more sand sometime. Uh, I do have a kind of plan for some of this. I'm not sure when I'll get to it, but yeah, we'll, we'll eventually blow something up. <laughs> Hopefully. Alright, guys. Um, still don't know what we're doing this episode. That was all I got. So we'll see you in a bit when I figure it out. All right, well, with the new snapshot showing that pumpkins might be nerfed, I'm going to go collect some glowstone, because I am out. So just getting some nether supplies here to make travel easy. Er, easier. <laughs> so I got some fire resist, lots of ender pearls, lots of arrows, because I don't have an infinity bow anymore. I don't know if I need all these speed, I'll probably store some. Yeah, let's store some here. And let's keep six. I got an extra bow for when this one oh I do have an infinity. Oh, it's almost dead though. Right. But yeah, I'm basically just gonna stock up here. Might take a region and a health just in case. And maybe some night vision as well. Give me plenty of time out there. And I should probably put some fire resist on my person. And there we go, I have no more room. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go get rid of some stuff and maybe swap out my gear for something more expendable. The sword. Ooh, I'm in the floor. Sword looks like it's dead. 30? That should be okay. Alright, I'll see you when I get out there in the nether. All right, I'm gonna head to the Nether Fortress that I'm overhauling, and then I'm gonna head past it, kind of towards the areas I was exploring prior, looking for new fortresses to find the Wither skeletons when that was broken. And yeah, I don't think I didn't collect really anything along the way when I was searching out there, and I don't really want to load up any new chunks. So there should be plenty of glowstone hanging around, and I'm gonna look just look for the easy stuff. I don't really want to pillar up to grab anything, so I'll just look for stuff that's, yeah, close to the ground, or, yeah, pretty much that's it. Just close to the ground. Or I might have to collect some nether brick, or another rack, and pillar up, but we'll see. could also possibly use ender pearls to get up higher than I need to. But, let us get out of here. Let me turn my sound back on. Oh, let's turn mobs back on. So I was just doing a little test video in my creative world. I don't think I've done too much more here. If at all. But I still do want to work on this. Oh, we gotta go. Sorry about that. Somebody at the door. Alright, yeah, so I'm gonna head out this way. Why don't we drink the speed? I've got a decent sword with me. Smite 4. It's got some looting on there. Seems to always die here from enderpearling into pigmen, so maybe this will. 
help keep me alive if I do. Should be able to dis dispatch of them easily. Okay. I don't know how much I'll keep you here for. Yeah, that looks somewhat easily accessible, maybe? Not really? Nope, let's look for something better. Oops. Here we go, that's a big chunk. Not too far off the ground. I think I can even end a pearl into it. Hey, guy. Let's just take that. <laughs> As I walk off the edge. Alright. Is it gonna fall in the lava? Ooh, close. Close, close! Uh, but this stuff will. Oh, I was hoping I could maybe catch it before it fell in. There we go. Let's head... Wouldn't mind collecting some gas tears while I'm here too, so this is usually where I hit a pigman. When I can't see where I'm shooting. Where is this guy? You're gasty gasty ghast. There is one, is that the guy? Oh well. Oh, look, that one looks like I can get on top of it. Oh, so close. All right. Might be some up there. Some right there. I have a feeling that's directly over lava. Yep. There's a big chunk right here. Can I get on top of it? Oh, maybe. Oh, come on. That should have worked. <laughs> There we go. So I'll have to set up for... I still have three heads left, so we can do another Wither boss battle fairly soon. And yeah, like I said, it'll be here in the nether. At one of... one of the fortresses. And then I want to try that drowning trap again. I think I know how to do it. That will work. I don't, I don't even think I need to enlarge the tank at all. Or at least not very much. Don't hit a big man. Thank you. I have lots of them here too. They would have murdered me. Nether is so much easier with ender pearls and fire resists. And I need more pearls. Oh, we have got two stacks already. Excellent. Um, big chunk there. Oh, it's a little bit here. It's fairly easy to get at. If I don't fall. Getting dark. I could use night vision. Oh, that's bright. Um, I don't even know where I'm heading. Might need to keep this up. So I have a rough idea. Okay, let's head this way. Roughly, uh, it's kind of a dead end. I think there's even another fortress out this way. Oh, 
Ah, see some glowstone. Right over lava. Yeah, let's uh, get some of it. I don't even know if I still have fire resist. Oh, <laughs> I was kind of dumb. Oh, you can just hear it like falling into the lava. Oh, because I'm too lazy to play some blocks. Uh, I guess that'll do. Okay. Do I have fire? Yeah, okay. Good. Good. It's not gonna die instantly. None of this actually looks familiar. And it's not loading. A little nether rack bridge. Oh. So in terms of current and future projects, um, I finished the wall, which I think I've mentioned. For the most part, it's done. I do need some of this glowstone to kind of finish it. And unfortunately, it's got like, I looked at all the clips, and there's like 300 clips, because <laughs> I just kind of took little bits and pieces. We're going to make a montage. It's like three hours worth of footage. <laughs> and I'm having a... A lot of trouble editing it because um, I don't really have any real editing software. All I use is Windows Movie Maker, which works okay for your basic little editing job. So just cutting clips up and throwing some transitions, add some music, that kind of stuff. But it doesn't seem to handle large quantities of clips, such as the amount that I have. So when I add in all those clips, or even if I add them one at a time and try to kind of edit as I add them, it eventually just kind of bogs down and stops showing me the actual video, I can only hear audio, so I have to like constantly close the thing, open it, to try to get the video to come back, and it's a big pain, so right now I'm not sure if I'll be able to put it together, and I'm not at a point where I'd like to invest real money here into any editing software, I'm just doing this for fun. So to invest hundreds of dollars into some software is not likely going to happen. So unfortunately that video may never see the light of day. I might be able to put some of the clips together and make a little smaller montage that I can add into one of these videos. So that might be what I end up doing if I can't get that to work. Alright, we are out of room. Let's store this stuff. Before we lose it, uh, let's swap out some fire, maybe some more enders. Okay, now I sh still need room. Let's keep that, it's not a full stack. And there we go, that gives us enough room for one more stack. We need to throw some stuff away, but as we drink potions, we'll make more room. I think I'm about due for some potions now, anyway. So that is what I will do. Let's get somewhere where we actually need it. Did I dig this? I must have. I've been here before. Do, 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 do. Yeah, in terms of projects that I have going on my worlds. Oh, no, it looks like I gave up. Or did I? I don't 
remember. I think I did. Oh, I yeah, I remember this tunnel. I ended up just giving up and <laughs> turning around. Well, nuts. Yeah, so I have the wallets done. I have the I have the beacon structures that I got to still work on and beacon placement. I still haven't really done that with the current layout of the wall. So I ended up just going with a circle. Pretty much, or an oval, however you want to describe it. Rectangle, <laughs> I guess, Minecraft. Yeah, I gotta go back. No going this way. Here we go. Making some room. And yeah, fire's there. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Look at this guy. Yeah, so, because of the size, I enlarged the village quite a bit on that one side. Which is the south side? I don't know. The side towards the estates. That one beacon in the center of town and that tower will no longer cover the center part. Like, if I put my beacon structures on the outside of the walls, like I'm planning to do, there's, there's going to be a dead spot in, in the village, I pretty sure. So I might need to design something else for the inside of the village too, so there'll be kind of like two of the two of the structures inside the village. Is this open? Nope. Night vision is dis deceiving. Whoa, and there's a wall here. Hey guy, I'll take you. But I might start working on those beacons, or at least I'll get one structure up and I'll show you guys what it looks like. You guys can tell me if you like it, or hate it. And then, yeah, as someone had mentioned, I got a lot of TNT, so I should try to do something with it. Oops. Oops, that's how I die. Multiple ender pearl throwing. I would like you to die, sir. Ooh, tear! I want... Gimme. And one thing he had said... I can't remember your name. I, <laughs> sorry. Start with an N, I think. Uh, oh, wow, that worked. Oh, there's more of a structure here than was loaded. So we could look at, yeah, maybe doing a gold farm here in the nether with pigmen. Use the TNT to blow up the netherrack. So that is an idea. I do like that idea. I would kind of like to try to get something going with the wither skeletons as well. So maybe if we can find a wither... Man, these things are just not loading. A wither fortress, that's a good candidate. We could maybe try to do both in the same location. Since wither skeletons will only spawn in the nether fortress structure itself, within its bounding box, I'm not too sure exactly what that entails, like exactly where they will spawn, so if we can if I can find that out and then maximize the spawning area for them to spawn and maybe even do something with pistons to have them t funnel into some location and then some separation system maybe to get the pigmen out maybe even simply have them aggro you and then run off a cliff or something like that uh oh, is that going? And then all we'd be left with is the wither skeletons in the collection area. And then we could harvest them with a booting sword or something to try to get, collect mob heads. So that's something I'm thinking about, but I don't really have any idea in implementing it yet. And in terms of blowing up stuff in the nether, it can be... The nice thing is netherrack is very... It's a very low... Oh, did I drop all this? Is this worth getting? Yes, yes it is. That's a very low blast resistance, or whatever that is called. <laughs> so it is very easy to blow up, but maneuvering around everything can be difficult. So I'm wondering if we can set up something kind of towards the bedrock ceiling and have it kind of just... We can just kind of drop TNT from the ceiling and it'll just kind of blow up everything below it. And doing that, we could clear out a whole area, maybe. 
might not that be that efficient in terms of TNT usage, but I don't think that's really an issue here in this world. So if we have to spend a lot of TNT to get the job done easily, that might be something worthwhile checking out. I remember seeing, I think it was, I saw Doc M's video, but I believe it was done in JL2579's world or something. But they were doing a huge TNT thing in the nether. And it was all automated. I, can't, I don't even know how they set it up, but it was basically just TNT dropping from the ceiling everywhere. And at the end of it all, it was just a large area of just the bedrock left kind of thing and lava. So that was pretty, pretty cool. So I'm thinking something similar to that, but obviously not as technical. I'll probably just be doing it manually or set up levers or something and I can just run around placing TNT on the ceiling and it'll automatically just fall and head down and explode or something to that nature. So that is what I'm thinking right now. And then other projects, what do I have going? I got my nether fortress, so I do want to keep working on that. Just have to take a break, because it was getting kind of repetitive. It doesn't make for good video. And then, oh, there's a big chunk. Still fire? Yep. Ow. Okay, here maybe I'll put down some nether rack. Why am I on fire? I didn't step in the lava. Shenanigans! And I eventually wanted to make it to the mushroom biome as well. So I could look at maybe doing that, digging out a tunnel. I know where it is, sort of. I don't know the, the coordinates, but I know, where, I know where one is. That's in the direction I don't have a tunnel yet, so I could... Could do that. I also have to pretty up the tunnel to the extreme hills. And I got that spider spawner thing to pretty up and get functional. More functional. And I don't know what else I got going on here. And the village itself. I want to do some more houses. And now that I've opened up the area, I feel like I have more freedom on what I can build there. As before, it was just a little too cramped for what I wanted, because I wanted to build some bigger houses, and I felt I was being restricted by the amount of space I had. So now, I don't have to worry about that. Now there's lots of room. So yeah, that's about it. I don't know if I have much more to talk about, so I might have to leave you guys here. And I will continue on hunting for some of this good stuff. I might bring you back in if anything exciting happens. So far it's pretty boring. I think I saw some more down here. Yeah, right there. And run. And run. Over lava? No. Alright. Yeah, I'll bring you guys back. Alright guys, this is another fortress I have been at before, and I just kind of found it again. But I know I've been here because I built this thing. <laughs> so I think this is the first nether fortress I was hunting wither skeletons at. Go away. And this might actually be a good candidate for doing the TNT thing. Because most of this thing is over lava, which is good. So that means most of the spawning area is already taken care of for the pigmen. So there's a few islands we'd have to blow up and everything above us, this thing, etc. And then hopefully I can maintain the nether fortress a bit, or at least its general structure, so I know how it was shaped. And then from there I'll hopefully be able to create some kind of spawning thing for skeletons. So yeah, I just gotta make note of where this one is. Um, where are we? Oh, we're not even that far, really. I'd have to extend the rail system out this way. Or I could look more 
closer to home to see if I find anything else. But yeah, anyway, I'll show you this. I don't know if I ever showed this one. I don't actually see any blaze or anything here yet, but they should spawn. So if there's a spawner there. Oh, yeah, and like a whole bunch of them just spawned there. So Wither Skeleton should be around so somewhere as well. Alright guys, well this is probably going to be it for today's video. I've collected a bit more... I don't know if I actually have, but I put it all in here anyway <laughs> since I last talked to you. It's only been a few minutes. But I got six stacks, so that's a good start. That might actually be enough for the wall. So yeah, I will leave you guys here. And yeah, if there's anything in particular you'd like me to work on next that I've mentioned, let me know in the comments below. And we shall go from there. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Man, why wasn't I recording that? Not sure exactly what happened. There's a gas right here. I was just kind of right over here. I think. So I was going to ender pearl into him and hit him with my sword. Except he fired a gas ball. So I ender pearled into the gas ball. And I don't know if that deflected it back. Or it's because I switched to my sword right away and was swinging. But yeah. It shot his fireball back at him and killed him. But yeah, I wasn't recording, so I can't really prove any of that actually happened. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. But I'm wondering... I don't... What amazed me, I'm not sure if it was the sword or if it was the ender ball that actually caused it to change directions. Let's see if I can do it again. Where'd you go? Look like you were in the ground. Ha! Got it! <laughs> there you go. Ender ball into gas ball. Return to cinder. <laughs> Excellent.